So in my last video, I gave a few pointers in terms of how to communicate ideas like community ecology and resource-based economics to an audience. Now the main focus of that video was to be a guide on how to navigate a conversation with an audience or another person about these topics, these ideas we advocate for. Something I didn't go over in that video was the various methods of communication that could be utilised in raising awareness and even further advocacy. Now, because this is 2021 and we have things like the internet, there are many ways that we can communicate our ideas to people. Case in point, you are watching this channel right now and hopefully subscribe to it. In spite of my quiet patches, I've been running this channel for a good few years now. Yes, it's been a hard battle, especially as a small YouTuber who has also had to over the years prioritise a lot of personal stuff that has kind of detracted from this channel's growth. Nevertheless, I want this to be an evergreen platform where people can come and learn about different models of social and economic life. But just to let you know, I'm not the only YouTube channel out there. I was kind of initially inspired from a fellow YouTuber by the name of RBE Empathy, who I've done a few podcasts with in the past. Like me, for the time being, he remains a small YouTuber. There are a fair few more RBE-oriented channels out there, but they are microscopic in scale, even smaller than myself and RBE Empathy. Right now, we are where BreadTube was five years ago, and if we want to increase our outreach and advocacy, this is something that will need to change. Of course, I want to grow, and I want my channel to become bigger as a platform. However, I don't want to be the one-stop shop for all RBE-related content. And so I encourage some of you in the audience to become creators of your own and help spread awareness and advocate RBEs and similar ideas. This way we as advocates can grow as a community. We will likely never be as big as BreadTube, but if we start to see more RBE related channels, our community will grow. Perhaps in the future, we may even eventually be able to collaborate as a YouTube community. That way we can make connections and compile all of our ideas together. But sites like YouTube aren't the only space where we can communicate our ideas. Myself and other advocates also use platforms like Discord servers in order to discuss our advocacy, current events around the world, personal projects, and many other things. I am part of the Post-Scarcity Science and Ethics Discord server, and since its creation, it has blown up in popularity. As the sun begins to set on the current crisis we all face, face-to-face -face advocacy becomes a lot more possible. Now there's the obvious things like social gatherings and organising a book club and the like, but something I find is a little bit more geared to this sort of thing is a university society. If you follow me and you are part of a university, I highly recommend you start your own RBE oriented society that focuses on advocating ideas like RBEs and community ecology to fellow students, as this would at least create some potential for these ideas to spread into academia. I think people studying STEAM topics would be especially interested. Anyway, I didn't want this to be a long video by any means, although in hindsight I do think this topic is worthy of its own instalment. But nevertheless, I think I've covered a good amount of content anyway. I've been Adam, thank you very much for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.